Sometimes it's uncertain what to do with use the solar panels. If they're malfunctioning, should they be repaired or replaced? If they're decommissioned, should they be resold or recycled? Late Saroy, owner of R3 Tech Limited, has answers to these questions. He has built his career around refurbishing defective solar panels and reselling used modules. First, consider the issue of malfunction. Late estimates the average failure rate of installed modules in today's solar farms is 6 to 8 percent. Through extensive research, he has concluded that modules exhibit four main material defects. 15% are related to broken glass or corrosion of cells. 15% have discolored or delaminated encapsulants. 10% are found to develop hot spots or other cell or interconnection defects. And a whopping 60% fail because of back sheets that crack four to six years after installation. Late estimates 18 million panels have defective back sheets of the total 600 million installed in solar farms from 2010 to 2013. In early 2018, when R3 Tech was just starting up, Leda couldn't believe there weren't more competitors branching into repair services. In Europe, there appeared to be great opportunity. Spain, Italy, Germany, and France had the world's largest volume of aging solar capacity. His logic was based on the fact that solar panels were expensive to buy new. The average price of a new panel in Europe ranged from $90 to $100. In the U.S., the price was over $120. Repair, on the other hand, averaged $34 to $36 per panel, and therefore solar owners saw repair as an affordable alternative to replacement. But a lot has changed in the last two years. Solar prices have plummeted worldwide, and solar energy is quickly moving toward a mainstream commodity with a record 118 gigawatts added in 2019. The average net price per watt of a mainstream module is right around 28 cents. Even after adding VAT and tariff fees, owners tend to find replacement more feasible than repair. Even a high efficiency module has dropped to an average price of 35 cents per watt. Some owners are taking advantage of falling prices to repower their solar farms. Low cost panels, including B grade, make this option attractive. B grade panels have a mismatch of solar cells, but this issue is purely aesthetic. It doesn't affect whatsoever the functionality or the energy produced. The cost savings of repowering with B grade panels can be significant, and Laid has brokered some major deals to prove this case. In fact, he recently bought 400 watt bifacials for 15 cents per watt from Vietnam. Now, what to do with used solar panels? When solar panels are decommissioned, they may not be at their end of life. It is possible that they still have another 10 to 12 years of energy production. And there's a buyer's market for used panels that spans throughout the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Latin America. Lathe recognized early on that consumers in these regions have a need for sustainable energy to support agriculture and livestock. From Lade's perspective, as long as the panel still has 10 to 12 years of energy production and is functional, it has resale value. The price is a third of the standard market price. But, Lade warns, rubbish goods are never appropriate for resale. When handling decommissioned modules, consider this advice from R3 Tech. First, set aside any panel with broken glass for recycling. Second, inspect those without broken glass for back sheet issues. If the back sheet is falling apart, put the panel in the recycling pile. Third, test the remaining panels for functionality and power output. And finally, remarket quality panels for sale in the secondary market. If you need assistance with this process, partner with a solar equipment broker like R3 Tech. A broker will come to your solar farm to decommission and assess used panels and may even offer you a cash buyout. Connect with Brokers on Energy Bin, the online business community for the world's PV professionals to collaborate, buy and sell wholesale solar equipment, and share market intelligence.